So I was walking down the sidewalk this afternoon, Keith, holding my umbrella. Mm -hmm. It's raining lightly. No wind to speak of. Yeah. A sudden gust, and the I don't think this has ever happened to me. The umbrella yeah. went boom and well into the head. head. Yeah, oh. and because you are you are a, bi a big walker, so it's yeah, not like yeah. you don't. Uh, not my first rodeo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's it's been random, you know. And we haven't had in Portland, we haven't had that much rain yet. I was checking point two, so far we need to do a little bit better than yeah, that. Yeah, but we haven't forgotten how to behave in the. Yeah, rain. yeah, yeah. We Presumably we don't. Well, it's, maybe it's like that first snowstorm where Some no one us. no one can drive in it or something, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, you know, it's been consistently rainy, and gloomy. And I was trying to think back when's the last day we had like this, and it was probably in June. We really didn't have fully rainy days in July. That being said, the heavy precipitation has been over down east Maine and really consistent bands of downpours indicated by the yellow and the orange here have moved in there. Why that is within the overall scheme of the storm is is unclear. Sometimes these storms just set up bands like they do in the winter and that's where you get a lot of precipitation. So Bangor has gotten over 0.8 and as I mentioned Portland's gotten under 0.2. So that's been the difference between the the real rain and just the lighter stuff here. This storm is really good looking on the satellite. In fact, big explosion of thunderstorms to the east of it this afternoon, which is a really kind of uh, hybrid tropical look to it. Not going to be a problem for us, but there's some warm core characteristics in this storm for sure. And it's going to meander over Maine overnight tonight. So this is what the radar thinks has fallen for rain so far. It's an algorithm, but you can see it does a good deal job showing that the heaviest rain has been from down east Maine into Bangor, but there's been much lighter amounts to the south. So the question is, how does that correspond with the drought? And the answer is not that well. The heaviest drought has been the mid coast and southern coastal Maine. The heaviest rain today has been here. Now, the storm's not done. We still have time. And this model, at least, thinks that by later tonight, we pivot some of that heavier rain down to the south into Portland, into the mid coast, Wiscasset, for example, and into Rockland and Rockport. And that would be beneficial if that can happen. Otherwise, all the stuff on each side of this is on the light side. We continue through tomorrow morning with periods of heavy rain off and on within the lighter rain that's falling. And then about the middle of the day, we start to weaken this low and end up with just showers over central and northern Maine and maybe a late break to sun over southern and western Maine. And that late break to sun is a sign of things to come because once the storm gets out of here, uh, Thursday night and it's a Friday. We have a really nice day Friday afternoon, especially, and we're going to ride that right into the weekend as well. Temperatures at that point will be into the 80s by Friday afternoon and there'll be a lot of sun. So as soon as the storm pulls on out of here, we are in good shape for the weekend. And you can see that on the temperature graph here where uh, we're stuck down in the 60s and then bam up into the 80s Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Timing is important and uh, the timing is good on this. After that, clouds increase on Monday. Some showers possible again Tuesday, Wednesday. De generally, definitely a wetter pattern than we've had through much of uh, July. This is not a drought buster, obviously. Being nine inches in the hole, if we got nine inches of rain in one storm, that wouldn't work out well either. Yeah. All right, Keith, thank you. We'll be right back.